What's up everyone? So today we've got a lot of empties. Y'all, I had to check to make sure. I feel like I just did an empties video like last week and it, it has been about a month, but I'm just saying, it just feels like I've been going through products like crazy. I think that part of it must be that I'm just really focusing on using what I have and using it up and not opening like five types of the same item at a time. I feel like I'm wasting a lot less and I'm getting to actually use up what I have. So we've got our LaCroix today because I've like, I've had too much coffee today. <laughs> I've hit my quota. So I did want to take a second to thank today's sponsor, which is Ritual. If you've never heard of Ritual, it is a vitamin I've been taking for about a year now. I am in love with this vitamin. So I actually have an empty here of the Essential for Women and I've got my next one ready to go. So I thought it was quite appropriate to talk about in an empties video. So for me, even with a perfect diet, it can be really hard to get the key nutrients I need for my body every day. And that's where Ritual comes in. It really helps fill in the gaps in my diet. It's just too easy to take capsules a day. There's no fillers, no colorants, no shady additives in it. So one of the reasons I like Ritual so much is that if you pop on their site, you can see exactly what is in here, where the ingredients were sourced from, and why it's in their vitamins. It really, for me, helped demystify a lot of why I would be taking a vitamin in the first place, you know, what it was doing for my body. And another thing I've been doing lately to try to remember to take my ritual vitamins every day is what's called habit stacking. So I take mine in the evening, and so I put it near my toothbrush and toothpaste, so every night that I'm brushing my teeth, I remember, oh yeah, this is also the time I need to take my vitamins. It's worked really well for me, so I challenge you to give that a try. So I personally take the Ritual Essential for Women. It's obsessively researched. They've got nine high quality nutrients that your body needs, even if you had a perfect diet from D3 to omega-3s. And I love that it's got a no nausea capsule design. I'm someone that always gets nauseated when I take vitamins, no matter what. And I've never felt that nauseous feeling with these. And I also love that they have a mint tab in here, so it smells really fresh. But they are vegan friendly, sugar free, non-GMO, allergen friendly. They are gluten free. So if you're curious, they they also offer a men's multivitamin, a 50 plus, a prenatal, postnatal, and a teen vitamin. The best part is it's really easy. It's delivered to your door. So it's a dollar a day to get high quality nutrients that your body needs each day. So of course, better health doesn't just happen overnight. And that's why Ritual is offering you all 10% off your first three months. So you can fill in the gaps in your diet with what I take, which is the essential for women. And again, it's such a small step to help support a healthy foundation for your body. So again, for 10% off your first three months, you can go to ritual.com slash jbron3 and enter code jbron3 at checkout. So thank you so much Ritual for supporting my channel and sponsoring this video. Let's dive into the rest of my empties. All right, so I have a makeup empty kind of. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder in the shade one. This one has a little bit left, you can see. Um, I've had this for a very long time. I already have another one. This is one of my favorite under eye powders. You guys know the one I'm reaching for every day is a pressed powder from number seven. I can link below. It's just my favorite. It's what I use today. But in the realm of loose powder, this is my favorite loose under eye setting powder. I just think because it's so finely milled and so almost light, it doesn't look as crepey and weird under there as other loose powders that I've used. So I appreciate it. I do think it does have that little bit of a brightening quality. And the good news is it does last a long time. A little bit goes a long way. Like I said, I've had this for a long time. I think it's probably okay, but because it's almost gone and because I know I've had this for like four plus years, and because I already have another, I'm like, I think I'm just gonna toss it. But really, really like it, definitely recommend. Another quick shout out to a makeup. It's not empty yet, but it will be soon. But I've just been thinking about it because it is so good. It'll probably be in my monthly favorites this month too. But it is a liner from L'Oreal. It's like their signature liner or something. Y'all, it's the only liner. I put it on my waterline above. It never, ever, ever transfers to the bottom. That's what I need. I have not successfully found one that does that. And this one from L'Oreal is amazing. I'll put it on and right away blink and there's no transfer to wipe away like on the lower waterline. So if you're someone that wants it on the lower waterline, you don't want it to transfer up or whatever, it stays in place instantly. It is incredible. It's super black. I can't believe more people aren't talking about it. So I'll link it below. I know it's not an empty, but honestly, it's fresh on my mind because I'm loving it and I just wanted to talk about it. Okay. I don't even have it in my hand. I don't know why I needed to say it then, but whatever. My whole goal when I started my YouTube channel was to be able to solve, not solve makeup problems, but to a certain extent, find the best products out there and solve like makeup issues I was having. And that was one of them, eyeliner transfer. And I finally found it and it's at the drugstore. 
one that I've used up will come. It's no surprise, you see it in a lot of empties. The CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I go back to this time and time again because it's my favorite. It's gentle, it doesn't dry my skin out, it feels good when I'm washing my face. Now a lot of you guys ask when I mention this, does this remove your makeup? I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know because I don't use it that way. I always use a makeup remover and I'll talk about one in a second. I use like a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil, then I go in with this as like my second step. It's gentle, hydrating, wonderful, great ingredients, decent price point. I always wait till I find a sale or a coupon because you can always save a couple dollars off of this. Not that it's crazy expensive, but it is. It's not like it's $5, I think it's like $15. Oh, another fun side note. I, a few weeks ago on my Instagram, posted about how I had all of my hair ties that I love. I get on Amazon, I can link them. They're like, they're the ones that, they're not breakable, but they do stretch out over time. They kind of feel like unrolled pantyhose. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like tights. But they're amazing on the hair and they, oh my gosh, these are just my favorites. I'll never go back to anything else. But after using like, let's say the same one for a week or two, it gets really stretched out. Well, I tried one of your guys' tricks. I put it in a mesh bag and washed it in the washer and the dryer and it worked. They all are back to their normal size. So before you throw out your stretched out ones, if you have the same ones as me, you gotta wash them in the washer. Honestly, they were pretty much perfect after just the washer, but I wanted to throw them in the dryer to see if it made a difference. And I do think they shrunk maybe a tiny bit more in a good way, so yay. All right, next up is this Tatcha Luminous Deep Hydration Firming Eye Serum. I just didn't really notice a difference at all with this. It took a long time to use up, so if you were gonna spend the money on it, you're gonna have it for a while, which is nice. But I, it just says, massage under eyes with cooling ceramic applicator for bright, beautiful eyes every day. I didn't apply it with this. Honestly, I didn't even realize that was ceramic. I thought it was plastic. I just got it on my finger and tapped it on. I just didn't notice any bit of a difference with it, whether it was with crepiness of my under eye or like the lines or like the brightness, I didn't really notice much. So I would not recommend you spend your money on this. I used up two, a small one and a big one of the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream from Drunk Elephant. I keep thinking I can maybe get a little bit more out. This is one of my favorite moisturizers. I do have one I'm using right now. I think I like better and it's cheaper. So hold tight. If you're thinking about buying it, maybe hold off. I do really enjoy this. It's got peptides in it too. It sinks into the skin pretty quickly. It's comfortable. It feels good on the skin. I feel like I have good skin days the next day when I use this in the evening. So really, really enjoy. Might purchase again in the future. I've gone through quite a few of these. I enjoy it a lot. So this one I probably have a couple more days use of. This is the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. They have expensive versions of these. They have cheaper. This is one of the cheapest options. I think it's like just a little under $10 at, I think both Sephora and Ulta sell it. Uh, the only thing is like the packaging, at least on this one, is like broken. I can't get it to stay on. So that's a bummer. I could never travel with this because I would not trust the packaging. But I love rosehip seed oil. I just feel like it helps even the tone of my skin and the texture. And of course, it's moisturizing. So at the very end of all of my skincare routine, I'll get a little bit between my hands and press it into the skin. That's my favorite way to use facial oils. And I just feel like rosehip seed oil really does make a difference. And so yeah, I probably will purchase this one again. This is one I have some thoughts about. This is from Physicians Formula. It's their The Perfect Matcha 3-in-1 Melting Cleansing Balm. I thought it was just fine. It removed my skin pretty well. My skin, no, my makeup. That makes me think of the episode of Goosebumps with Carly Beth and the mask and how she couldn't get the mask off. It won't remove that mask either, Carly Beth. I'm so sorry. It does okay at removing makeup. I think it's pretty good. But I ran through this in like two seconds, you guys. I've never qu this quickly gone through because I felt like I needed to use a little bit more to get all of my makeup off, if that makes sense. So, eh, I don't think I'll buy it again. I didn't think it was special. And again, yeah, it's a little bit cheaper than other ones I like, like the It Cosmetics and the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I feel like I can use less of that and make it last longer. So I feel like it probably equates in the end. So I don't think I'll buy this one again. Almost done with two Mayla products, the Glow Maker Antioxidant Serum and their Hydrator. I love both of these. I really like the Hydrator Serum because I can pair it with more exfoliant like products and I feel like it helps my skin not be too stressed out by the exfoliating quality of other products. Does that make sense? So I feel like it's nice to use hand in hand and then the Glow Maker I use every single day. It's typically the first thing I put on my face. It's a vitamin C serum. It's got antioxidants and it helps work against the environmental stressors, including the sun. And so I like pairing this with my sunscreen and they work really well together. And then I used up an Aquaphor little healing ointment. It's my favorite thing for my lips, y'all. My lips have never, 
ever been healthier since I stopped using all of the lip balms and just went to this. So if you want to have the cute little things, you can put it in your purse. These are typically in the travel toiletry section, like in a little cardboard cutout thing with this in it. And it's, you know, a dollar or two. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually like wipe this out clean. And then I've bought an Aquaphor healing ointment, like actual squeezy tube, like from the baby area. And I have a few of these and I'm just going to refill them all. Boom. Very cost effective, but I like the idea of having these little things so I can carry it around more easily on the go. You know, very excited about that. If you can't find it in the travel section, you might be able to find it in the baby section because Aquaphor is kind of traditionally used for like diaper rash and stuff, which I do use from time to time on my daughter and it does work, but I love it for my lips, baby. Someone also said they use it on their cuticles and I'm like, I might try that. I've also heard that CeraVe makes their own healing ointment and I'm also intrigued to try that one too. I know one of you guys recommended that. I feel like I'm going fast. Do you guys like my new, well, I mean, it's not new back there, but like I'm doing it from a different angle so I can use more natural light and I think I like it. I maybe need a plant over here though, yeah? I probably should get a fake one because y'all, I do not have a green thumb. My husband does, thank goodness, I do not. So maybe I'll get a fake plant for over there. I think that would look nice just to kind of balance it out. What do you guys think? All right, hair stuff. The Ava NYC Freshen Up Dry Shampoo. I like this stuff. It smells nice. I think the Living Proof Dry Shampoo and the Bumble and Bumble one both work better than this. So I would purchase this again because it is cheaper. But because I use dry shampoo so much, I rely on it a lot. I really want my hair to feel clean. And the other two do that just a little bit better. But I do like this. I would recommend it because it's not as expensive as the others. And it smells really good, man. Say if you have mildly oily hair, that's going to be perfect. But if you're like me and your hair is oily like the day you wash it, that one won't cut it. You want to try one of the other two. I can link the other two below. But this is lovely for moderately oily hair. And it smells incredible. So I finished up the Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask. This was just okay. It smells pretty good. I really, there's another one from Shea Moisture I liked more. I can link below because I just felt like this one was maybe a little too heavy for my hair. And on top of that, I didn't love the smell as, as much as the other Shea Moisture one. I just, I tend to like a lot of Shea Moisture products, I have to say. I also just used up the Crest 3D White Mouthwash. This is a whitening rinse. So. I definitely recommend using a whitening rinse if you are someone that drinks coffee, tea, wine, anything that's going to stain your teeth. Y'all, it makes a difference. It makes a difference because if you're doing this every night or even every other night, you're kind of able to kind of stay ahead of the staining that might occur on your teeth if you're drinking coffee and tea every day, you know, and I definitely drink coffee every day. So highly recommend this. I get the alcohol free one with fluoride because frankly, I have slightly sensitive teeth. They haven't been as bad lately. It was really bad when I was pregnant, honestly, but because it's got fluoride, it says it strengthens your tooth enamel, but it also is whitening your teeth safely. So highly recommend. I have already repurchased. I pulled these from my shower. I probably have again, a couple days use of it, but then I'll be able to recycle these. This is the Tree Hut Moisturizing Shave Oil. Again, you see this all the time. It's my favorite product to use when I'm shaving my legs. I had never used or heard of a shaving oil until this, but it doesn't gunk up my razor. It doesn't get all over the shower. It smells great. It moisturizes. I feel like I can get a closer shave. And so I am a convert. I did end up buying the vanilla one next. And when I got it and I smelled it, it reminds me of Warm Vanilla Sugar from Bath & Body Works. They even still make that scent. It's like vanilla, but like a little bit off, not in a bad way, but it's like off. <laughs> That's exactly what it smells like. It smells like warm vanilla sugar. So I had my husband smell it. He was like, whoa, it does. I'm like, I know, but I'm excited to use it. It smells good. And it's like in purple packaging. So I know Taylor Wynn, I think I got Taylor Wynn to try this, but then she tried the other scent. And so now she's inspired me to try the vanilla scent. There we go. It's come full circle folks. Also, if y'all seen Taylor Wynn's new place that she moved into, she makes me want to live in a city, A, and B, I want to live in a sun-drenched apartment. Are you kidding me? Like, it is gorgeous. Y'all got to go see it if you haven't. Another thing I've almost used up is yet another of my Neutrogena body oil. I always get the fragrance free. I just figure with something I'm putting on every time after I shower, it probably doesn't need to be fragrance, you know? Got, you know, Keratosis Polaris and stuff, so any type of fragrance can potentially irritate it. And so I like to get the fragrance free version. That one's almost gone. Like I said, I just use it every time after I shower, unless I'm in a huge rush. So what I'll do is I will towel dry. And then while I'm still in the shower, I will use this all over. And I just feel like it moisturizes. I used it when I was pregnant and postpartum as well. And in normal times. And again, I've already repurchased that. 
and uh, kind of household empty, the Snuggle Super Care, still using. I was sponsored by them in the past. This is not sponsored. They have no idea I'm talking about it again. I really do notice a difference in how my clothes look and feel with when using this and their uh, fabric softener in the Super Care line. It's different, y'all, and I feel like the fabric feels more true to what the fabric is. You know when sometimes you use certain fabric softeners, let's say, and your clothes just have that like film on them? I don't feel like the snuggle ones do that, and I really appreciate it. I, I feel like it's protecting my clothes. Does that make sense? So I really like it. This is this. I actually did use up. I, honestly, it was way too big to fit in the bin. I used up their uh, fabric softener too. I already have my next ones open. Same thing. So really, really enjoying that. I bought for laundry detergent, because I don't think there's a laundry detergent in the Super Care line, but I was inspired by Taylor Wynn to buy the Persil or Persil little like discs that you just throw into your wash. My clothes smell amazing from that too. So mix that with the super care and our clothes are just like, wow, they smell so good. Oh, I think that's everything. This might've been my fastest empties ever, but it was still a lot of products. I'm just like going a mile a minute. I gotta like, <laughs> but I hope that you enjoyed and I'm so glad we got to chat today. I feel like I've gotta keep doing these once a month because sometimes when I wait every other month, I have way too much to talk about. So, <laughs> Hopefully you're enjoying these every month. And if you are, please give it a thumbs up. I'd love for you to subscribe if you enjoy beauty videos, lifestyle videos. We've got Vlogmas coming up in December where we will be vlogging every single day. You'll see videos from me. You'll get so tired of me in December. And again, if you are interested in checking out Ritual Vitamins, you can get 10% off your first three months by going to ritual.com slash jbron3 and entering code jbron3 at checkout. Thank you again, Ritual, for sponsoring this video. I love you all. Thanks for watching all the way to the end and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.